Hi there and welcome to uh, device management. Um, this first uh, task is about your device settings. Whenever you get a new machine it really is worth just getting to know what your machine is like. It's like riding a new bike, working out how many gears it's got, perhaps if you're getting a new car, working out whether it's automatic, how to change the oil, things like that. So the first thing that we need to do really is to make a note of a few things. Uh, Windows 10 has its own way of doing this. If you're using another device, then you really need to um, perhaps get some help onto Google or Apple support or Chrome or whatever it is that you're using and find out these particular facts and see if you can do some of these things. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here, type search, and I'm going to type in settings. And under the settings app, you'll see that it comes up and it gives me a menu, a whole host of things that I can do. I can look at the system. I can look at devices that attach to it, I can do various things. I'm just going to look quickly at my accounts, show you that I logged on here, and if I look at my info, your info, it says my logon is ACS-01, uh, it's a local account, it's administrator, and I can do those things, I can make a camera, take a picture, and that sort of thing. So that's my first port of call, just to make sure I know how I'm logging on, and I'll, hopefully somewhere I've noted that I've got a really strong password. Now, once I've done that, there's a few other things that I perhaps set when I started um, my machine up, and which were the time and the language. And I'm just going to double check that all those are right. So here I have um, date and time, and it is the 11th of August at 1609. It's quite a hot day, as it happens. And I've set the time to automatic, so it'll automatically update the time. I really want the time zone automatic as well, so that you know if I move to another country, I get the perhaps I get the right time there. So you can put that on as well. There we are, it now is I'm there, and it'll adjust for the daylight saving as well, which is really good. Okay, I've noticed my time zone is Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon and London. They're all on the same parallel, so that works quite well. So that is pretty good. My region and language, well, I'm in the UK, so it's all the United Kingdom English. And, um, you know, if I was a student of Spanish or something like that, I might want a little Spanish keyboard and install a new language. So I've got Espanol, there we go. Um, sometimes go out to Spain so quite like to add Spain to it do next and uh, I'm not going to do the speech uh, you can leave the speech and the handwriting on and set as my Windows language no I don't want to do that but I might want to put the speech and the handwriting in that would be quite useful to dictate some stuff in a different language and as you can see uh, Spanish is now being added it says we're adding some new features to Windows it could take a few minutes so we'll just wait for that to complete Okay, the language is now installed, as you can see. And I can see down the bottom here I've got ENG for English, and if I click on there, I can switch between English and Spanish keyboard. I've got some language preferences, and if you're uh, bilingual, or you're studying a language at A-level or GCSE, it might be worth having those th things on, and then looking if you can like dictate Spanish into your machine, and see what it comes up with. So those are some quite useful uh, little bits and bobs for you to have a look at. Um, that should have enough um, information to help you complete the task called device settings. And in the next one, we'll move on to a few more settings to explore our machine a little bit further.